Hello Libra, welcome to your May mid-month mini reading. I said it right for the first time. For 2022, mid-month May mini reading, May 2022. Mercury's retrograde, Scorpio's doing a full moon lunar eclipse. Oh my God, everything's going on. So here we are, we're ready. Messages for Libra. We have a bird fest going on on the chimneys in the road opposite my house where there's literally birds just covering everywhere, fighting, squawking. It totally looks like a Hitchcock movie. I don't know what's going on. Woo! Libra, let me know where you are and what's going on. Tell me where you're actually watching from. I love that because I get to know loads of new places. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we need to know? Libra, okay. Wowzers. Yay! Okay. Libra, with this um, full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, I think you're healing something. There's an opportunity to heal. I don't know if you want that opportunity or not really. You know, we don't always welcome the opportunity to heal. Sometimes we don't want it to be like upset in the first place. But something which showed great promise didn't kind of come to something. Let's have a look at the cards and I'll show you what I mean. See if I can actually focus on them for you, Libra. By the way, I have done a newsletter. It's only been about two years in the making. I've just learned how to do one. So do sign up for my Gemstone Tarot newsletter. I'm quite pleased with it, actually. Um, the link is in the description box below the video. Okay. Let's just get that Ten of Cups in focus, because why wouldn't we? It's Ten of Cups. Let's showcase it. Um, look at this top row here. This is what I'm looking at first. We've got this two of wands in the reverse, which is a feeling of things being, things starting but not continuing in the way that you want them to. You know, there's growth on the two of wands. You can see it. And it was like, I can see a future for this. I can see prospect for this. I'm looking out over the horizon about this. And then it somehow shuts down in a way that you weren't expecting. It's some kind of disappointment and Mercury is retrograde. And I think it wants you to reevaluate the disappointment of something that you lost. Okay. Over here, we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse as well. So I feel like it could be to do with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because we've got the King of Cups here too. But also the Knight of Cups is where you get made an offer for something, usually to do with love or something you love. And you know, it's nice, it's beautiful. The horse is beautiful, the armor is beautiful, here I am. You know, for some of you, you've been waiting for this maybe. Maybe it's like a situation ship or a couple of dates or whatever it is, and you're thinking it'll go on to something else. Or for others of you, it could be that it was a job prospect, you know, something started and you were hoping that it would develop. Um, and it feels like with the Three of Swords in reverse, there was a bit of a shocker. There was a rude awakening. There was something about it. There was some sort of wounding and this needs to heal. We've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse, which is saying to you, don't keep burdening yourself with this Libra. You know, when we get a full moon in Scorpio and a full moon lunar eclipse as well, particularly in Scorpio, the universe is kind of saying to you, it's, this is deep. You know, I want you to let this go. It's a Scorpio thing. Scorpio gets right to the bottom of the emotional cupboard. You know, I often refer to it as like the emotional drainage system. Scorpio goes into the sewer and says, where does it all come from? You know, where is the actual origin of this? And this is what's kind of coming up for you. And it's not very Libran to do this. 
Librans would prefer not to go down into the sewer, as would most of us really, because it stinks and it's dirty and, you know, scary down there. But the universe wants you to plumb the depths emotionally and to know where it all comes from so that you can heal it from the bottom up, okay? Also, the universe wants you to know about this King of Cups. We've got the Ten of Cups down at the bottom. There's some kind of connection here between the King of Cups and the Ten, and I'm gonna have a look. I wanna know what that is. King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. What's the connection here, please? Oh my God, okay, yeah. Seven of Swords. This was somebody who faded off, called time, disappeared. I don't know what it is, but it's something like that. And this was your happy ever after that you thought you were getting here. And there is an opportunity now to heal this difficulty, this pain, this severance, this wounding, this lack of trust what someone took from you, your ability to trust. For some of you, this is an old relationship because Mercury's retrograde and that's a time when old relationships come to the fore and you get that kind of, oh, it's like a reckoning. You get the chance to regulate it. You've got the High Priestess here. This is you in your most spiritual form, okay? You are willing to go down and look at it. The High Priestess goes down into Hades, into the bowels of kind of hell and looks at stuff and she knows. And these pomegranates that are in the background are the knowledge that she brings back with her, okay? Now, just for one or two of you, Page of Swords. If you are in the middle of a breakup and you're looking at someone's social media or if for any reason you are looking at someone's social media in a negative way, which we all do because it's like, I don't know, we just do it. We sort of do it to ourselves, don't we? Um, it feels like that's probably not a good idea. If you can wean yourself off it, I would, okay? Universe wants you to know this Ten of Cups is there for you. Ten of Cups new love, chemistry, and playfulness. I reckon the chemistry belongs to whoever that was before. I reckon the chemistry was probably pretty high. Um, the new love and the playfulness is where you're at now, okay? Universe wants you to be able to move on from this, but not in a kind of superficial way like we normally do, in a real deep way, okay? Please leave me a comment, Libra. Let me know how that resonates. Do sign up for my newsletter and I will see you soon. Namaste.